Hey guys, welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. And today I thought I would play a urban rural no, a way around. Rural urban golf course by playing the Urban Golf Club. As you can see, as per usual, I am playing from the back tees, in which case in this case is the black tees. And we'll see what this course has to offer. And I say that I've already played it, I'm just commenting over this afterwards. So, first hole, par 4, uh, some number over 400. 498, is that? 493? Something like that. And you can already see the urbanness of it all sticking out. We have some wind farms in the background there. And nice opening tee shot straight in the middle. Not too many difficulties with that, just uh, keep away from that bunker on the left. And you should have any issues with that. Second shot is downhill, so the ball is going to carry further in the air, worth bearing in mind. Uh, I opted to go for the hybrid here, but full loft on it so it goes even higher. Uh, unfortunately, it's just a bit slow on the way through. But I do get on the green still, middle of the green. And it gives us a look at a birdie, which I mean you can look at it as the ball goes past the hole, more often than not. Maybe I hold it, maybe I don't. I can't actually remember. Let's find out. So, right to left part, I decided to make, give it enough break so it would stay reasonably close to the hole. Should it miss? And that's exactly what happened, although still a nervy putt coming back up that slope. About six feet, I think that says. Ah, not a problem. It was uphill so I could hit it firm. And we open this round off with a par. Hang on to the second hole. For some reason I can read this one. It's 261 yards. Uh, par 5. Two fairways here. I opted to go for the one on the right because it puts me a little bit closer to the green. Just a little bit closer. Not too much of a difference though. But from here I just take my three wood eventually. And just hit it over that hill. So it lands on top and then it runs down a bit. But this is pretty close, so you've got like a pitch to the green from there, which is exactly what it's given me the option of doing. I still haven't got the pitching down this game yet, I still haven't figured out how hard to hit it or how much difference different types of loft make on the shot. Uh, but in this instance I didn't do too bad. Did run past the hole still, but uh gave me a, a much better look at a birdie on this hole. Which I took. And so through two holes we are now one under par. Another long par four, which is a feature of this course, although part of the reason for that is as you can see, it's fairly steep downhill, so just take my driver and carry to the fairway pretty easily. Which then just turns into normal par four, because from here we've got less than two hundred yards in, albeit uphill. I just decided to go for it. And as you can see, pretty good result for that. Another birdie putt. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, running out of things to say, different, or different ways of saying things. Um, in this instance, did not take that birdie, and I've got just as long a putt for the par now because that is in a horrible position, that flag. This time I do get it right though. I did play through this course as with other courses I've played in the past before uh, recording this round. Uh, but I did change the flag position for this one so I was dealing with a different part of the green more often than not. And based on my performance in my first round I'd say one under through three holes is actually pretty good. This is another par five we've got here. Already hit my tee shot, second shot, just made sure it went forward. It's now closer to the green and the flag, so from here, again, it's a pitch shot, the option. It would be wise to take that option if ever it's given to you. Uh, put a lot of loft on that one. And again, it still rolled out quite a bit. I do think I get the flop and the pitch shot mixed up sometimes. I think a flop shot would stop quicker because it goes up higher. 
uh, but at the same time it doesn't fly as far. I've still got quite a lot to learn in this game, but in the meantime, it's another birdie and we are two under par through four holes. First par three of the round now and we can really start to see the urbanness of this course. Got some skyscrapers in the background. There, building up the skyline of the uh, city we're supposedly playing in. Now, I do find the green, but the left hand side of it not ideal when you've got a right hand flag. So, a long putt coming up here. Well, not a particularly tricky one, despite what the green makes it look like it is. It's uphill all the way. So, you can be a bit more aggressive with it and uh, shouldn't deviate too much. There we go, just see what's happened for a par there. Disappointed not to hold that because it was it looked like it was tracking for most of the way and then just swung round at the end. But we're still two under and still looking strong. And finally we do get a shorter par four. Downwind as well, which means the ball's gonna fly a lot further in the air. No, it's not, it means it's gonna, well, it'll fly a little bit further in the air, but it'll go further overall as well. As it did, and uh, this probably isn't the place for a pitch shot when you've got a bunker right in front of the green. But I took it anyway, took it on anyway, and uh, found the bunker. But I don't think a flop shot would have carried, so I didn't really have much of a choice there. I opt for a chip shot here, put full loft on it, almost a full swing, and yeah, pretty good recovery there. Leaves me another tap in for a par. Like so. On to hole number seven. A 490 yard par four, I believe that says. And I remember actually playing this in my practice round and doing this exact same shot. Not particularly wise, but it does hold the fairways, so I thought I'd just do it again. 220 yards, just a little bit less from here. Again, the bunker makes it hard to approach the flag and the green as a whole. Uh, but I take my five wood out and actually play a pretty decent shot there. Which means we've got another birdie putt, another makeable birdie putt coming up here. And in it goes. I'm gradually remembering this round as we go along. I did re record this over a week ago. Uh, from when I'm doing this. I remember this being a nice hole, despite its looks. All you got to do is land it on the green and it's pretty flat, so you've got a straight part from almost anywhere on this green. Just make sure you land it on the green. And don't do that. Yeah, that was unexpected. Even for a slow follow through, I wasn't expecting it to go in the water. But there we go. So it's going to have to be up and down for a bogey at best, either that or hold this for a par, I suppose par is the best I can still make here. Yeah. Uh, spoiler alert though, I don't actually make the par, but you probably saw that coming a mile off. I do however do that, give myself once again a tap in, uh, up and down, there. Unfortunately this time it's for a bogey, not the best four you can make in this game. And the ninth hole on the, on this front nine. <laughs> uh, another long par four. I aim left of the bunker here. Just on the edge though, so the wind takes it a bit further left and the ferry kicks back into the right. That was my plan, you can't prove I was going to do anything else. So watch out for that bunker just behind the flag here. It does come into play because it's going to be a lot of rolling on this shot. So make sure you don't take too much club, otherwise you'll find yourself in that bunker. Bit like I almost did. I was annoyed about that because it could have stopped a bit quicker, but it didn't. Yeah, I tend to put a lot of my chip shots just because they do stop a bit quicker then. I feel like I'll take one bounce and it'll check. It's like in real life. Except this time I didn't. Partly because I didn't get the timing right on the shot, and also partly because I was in the rough, so... Not my wisest move there, but I didn't have many other options. 
and then unfortunately I missed that putt as well so it's two bogeys in a row and suddenly we're back to one under par not a bad front nine overall though starting off the back nine now we have another par four, another long one at that I aim just left of the fairway here so the wind can bring it back round uh, unfortunately just get stuck on this hill uh, not really a good place to leave yourself on the hill is that because the ball's going to shoot off in one direction or another then I get a bit lucky in that I'm sort of at the bottom of it so there isn't as much of a slope which means I can still play an attacking shot like that fortunately once again did run out a bit further than I was expecting leaving another long birdie putt and uh, not ideal when you made two bogeys in a row you don't want to be staring at one of these and thinking you could potentially three putt I was a bit tentative on that first one and that could have that could really prove costly if I let hold this one now thankfully I did so uh, I broke that habit at last the habit of two holes and heading to 11 this is another par 4 fairly short compared to some of these and just aimed at the fairway stuck it in the fairway for the bad you can't really reach those bungers unless you go going downwind so you don't got to worry about those so much once again another green to by bunkers but luckily this time a lot of green to actually work with you can run the ball all the way to the back where the flag happens to be this time so you have you won't have many issues with the approach shot get the timing just right wind wasn't really helping so I couldn't be as aggressive as I would have liked to have been on the back of the green though and looking at another good chance of a birdie here very little break in the putt and unfortunately I didn't quite read that one right so once again just missing by the edge a bit more than the edge but you know what I mean so I tapped in for par again and we want to get another par 5 this one just a little bit longer than some of those par 4's we played so far once again just pointed at the fairway hit down the fairway helps that the wind was uh, with us again so went a bit further and it gives us a look at potentially getting there in two albeit a very slim one I took my drive for this because I thought I'd get most of the distance out of it still while it was going downwind and uh, yeah unfortunately there's a big slope right in front of the green which I didn't take into account but we are still just short of the green in two it's time for the flop shot to shine. Put a little bit of loft on this so it would uh, spin a bit. And uh, surprised it rolled out as far as it did. Might have been a downslope there, but still I thought it would have stopped sooner. And there was a, there was a downslope there after all. Uh, oh well. Another birdie putt goes by the wayside, but another tap in for a par. If you can do that for 18 holes, you're not doing anything particularly wrong. But yeah, it's uh, three holes in a row we could have had, could have had some birdies, but unfortunately we didn't quite. For some reason this hole I'll go a little bit mad and just point here, hit my drive. Not entirely sure what my plan was here. I thought it would probably fly a bit further, but it went straight to the bunker. In practice, I actually went down the left hand side, left it in the fairway. It's a longer shot from there, but uh, it's safer. I'd recommend doing that, don't do what I just did. I decided to hit my 5 wood from here, just to try and get the ball as close as I can to the green. I wasn't going to ever get there, so the aim was just to try to leave myself a good position to uh, actually get up and down for a par still. So flop shot, a bit more loft this time to try and stop it sooner. And uh, yeah, just gave it a whack. And it worked out pretty well again. Another tap in for a par there. Don't think I'm spoiling anything by saying that too soon. More for not going to miss those putts. Another par though, unfortunately. And uh, 
we really need to be looking to go in the right direction once more. Not that we're playing for anything, it's just, uh, yeah, it's nice to make a low score when you're playing golf. Uh, 14th hole, T sharp, just pointed left hand side of the fairway so the ball would feed back into the middle. Uh, once again, the wind is going to help us on our approach shot, I'm sure that flag being on the left, but uh, I decided to try and go for it anyway. I just thought if I could just about get it over, it might roll up close. Uh, thought this was going to go to the bunker, then it did fly over, and actually worked out pretty well. Got a bit of a lucky bounce there, so we're on the green, we're fighting for a birdie. Just, uh, you saw how much slot that went over just then. Once again, it seemed a little bit unlikely that I would hold this, but... And once again, I didn't. On another day, some of these putts might actually drop, but uh, this just wasn't a particularly good day for me. So we start at the back nine with five bars in a row. On to a par five now, though. These are always uh, good score opportunities, because... They are just long par fours, especially on this course. So T shot into the fairway nicely. And uh, how far have I got left in? 289, so I knew I was never going to reach that. Bit of an iffy slope there as well, uh, which I happen to just about navigate fine. So I laid up nicely, given the option of the flop, which is probably the best option. Uh, if I was a little bit closer. So I had to take it on anyway though, because I thought the ball was going to roll out like it had been all round. And, uh, yeah, not quite. I didn't really see that slope at the front. If it wasn't for that, it would have been pretty close to the flag. I opted to go to the putter here just because chipping would have... well, wouldn't have been a good option, despite the fact it's probably the best shot here. So I just whack a putt, and uh, in it goes. Finally a hole one again. I remember at the time feeling like, just, you know, sod this, whack, in it goes. Back on the birdie trail then. 213 yard. Yeah, 213 yard. Sorry, I thought it was a meter for a second. Par 3. Yeah. Uh, in practice, I ended up going into that sand on the right hand side behind those bushes, so I aimed more of the left hand side of the green. Uh, even though the flag was on the left hand side anyway, and uh, barely held the back this time. And that is not a friendly looking putt whatsoever. Uh, so, I knew I was going to hold this one already. I just accepted that and tried to get it as close as I could. Tried to read the putt as best as I could, and uh, yeah, walk off of the par. Save the shot that we just gained. And that was probably about as good as I could do without holding it. So I was very happy with that, and once again it was a tap in for a par. So through 16 holes we stay at 2 under par. I do enjoy saying that I'm under par. And not over par. Who wouldn't? Uh, at this point I seem to be having some difficulty with my controller trying to get it to go straight back and straight through, but thankfully it's not affecting the shots too much. So safely in the fairway once more, uh, I take an extra club, I think that's a 7-iron, I can't really tell, uh, just because we're going uphill again. No, sorry, I go down to an 8 again, put some D-loft on it, lower loft, so it roll a bit more, and then hit it. Fortunately I hit it a bit slow, but it was the correct choice to the shot there, as it did roll up pretty close to pin high. So, once again, a long birdie putt coming up. Maybe I'll hold this one. I'm trying to remember again. No, but again, left it close. That's that's the thing with golf. I mean, if you're holding putts, you're scoring well. If not, just stick it close. If you do that, it's just tapping every time and you're still not scoring too bad. And so we come to the 18th hole. A simple par 3 to finish here. No hazards whatsoever, really, other than rough. And I get a bit lucky with that shot. It was slow again, but 
it's about pin high and uh, another good look at a birdie compared to the other good looks we had early on earlier on bit of break in this one take a bit of time lining this up and then just go for it and that one I might have hold if I just hit it a little bit harder but unfortunately I didn't so we end up this, we end this round being two under par and that was the Urban Golf Club. I hope you guys enjoy watching us, uh, myself play through this. Uh, if you did, drop a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these uploads. And until next time, I will see you later.